The surprise came on the most sublime day of the year. On December 31st, Berta and Harayr, together with their five sons, stepped foot in their new home. By the end of New Year's Day, they had already settled in. Talking over each other, the kids described the amenities of their new residence. This table is for doing homework, and this is for our books. I sleep on the second floor. From the as yet unfurnished kitchen, Berta sees her five sons, Harant, David, Arman, Yura, and Tigran, off to school. But like a true Artsakh native, she shows the way to the living room, where guests are welcomed with an open heart. This room is for our guests. We've got a big dining table in the living room. We'll be sitting around it with seven sons, Berta promises. Are you sure there won't be more of them? But the boys hope that their sixth sibling will be a girl. They would like to see one more beautiful person gracing their home, apart from their mom. Mom has said that when Tigran turns two, she will have a girl. Tigran will be three years old in summer, and Berta is pregnant again. I hope I'll have at least two daughters, and my sons have long been wishing for sisters. Let's see. Sometimes they say, Mom, all of us are boys. You're the only girl in the house. Honestly, for a long time, I didn't look at it that way. But now I'm thinking, when they're all grown up, it's definitely going to hit me that I'm the only female in the family. The Porosians have been renters for many years. Now they're the owners of this big, renovated house, which also boasts a large lot including a sizable backyard. It's exactly what I had dreamed of, Bertha says with a smile. Getting an apartment was pretty much out of the question. I thought, who could stand having five boys running around above their heads? Particularly since at least one more child is on the way. The program of providing houses to large families in Artsakh is being implemented jointly by the Hayastan All-Armenian Fund and the government of Artsakh. The goal is that, with the growth of their families, parents should enjoy the security of owning a home. A law was passed to provide homes to low-income families with five or more children. Then the Hayastan All-Armenian Fund held telethons and raised funds to implement the program. I think this year the project will grow even more. We hope and are confident that many families like us will receive homes, that at last they will have housing security. Berta was only seven years old when she lost her father, Yura Pogosian, who was a national hero. Although the hero's namesake, little Yura, and his brothers have not seen their grandfather, who was the Karabakh movement's first gunsmith, as well as the first freedom fighter to destroy an enemy tank, they consider him the truest hero imaginable. They don't even know who Batman is. Grandpa Yura used to make machine guns. He fought with tanks and killed the whole army of the enemy. And they've killed Grandpa. Following the death of the national hero, his German mother, Elvira Dillman, and her daughter-in-law raised his three children. Now Elvira has 11 great-grandchildren. Berta's sister, too, has five children. What else would Elvira need? As you see, they've given Berta a house. I'm so happy for her. Yura had two daughters, Berta and Nare. Nare, too, has five children, and I hope she will receive a house as well. Then I would sleep well at night, reassured that they have a hearth. Yura did not sacrifice his life in vain. He was 30 years old when he was martyred. Of course, to Grandma Elvira, a real Artsakhian hearth is not necessarily a big house, but one filled with people and warmth, visited often by family and friends. Following the death of her son, 
She and her husband had gone to Germany to see her loved ones. Her German relations had suggested that she should stay in Germany for good, but she couldn't wait to go back to Artsakh. I remember saying, Vanya, what are we doing in Germany? I don't care for these pretty homes, all this abundance, when we have a little black hearth in our Karabakh. For Alvira, who came to Artsakh decades ago, happiness is all about seeing the success of her son's progeny, her grandchildren, as well as the constant evolution of her beloved Artsakh. It's precisely here that her late son's dreams have been turning into reality. Yura Pogosian had yearned to have an independent country and a real army to defend it. Yura always said that he wished there were a real Armenian army, so that our young soldiers could leave their weapons at their posts before going home for the night, instead of having to drive their tanks home as though they were automobiles. Now, thank God, we have a proper army. What's missing is peace. It's what ails Grandma Elvira's heart and mind. I too want things to be good for our people. I want things to be good for our people every day.